It's the biggest weekend for football in Canada. The Grey Cup is this Sunday being played in Regina with the Toronto Argonauts taking on the Winnipeg Blue Bombers. The wise words that Andrew said, you know, our, our attitude is it's not cold enough. So um, that's how we're approaching the game and, and it felt good to be out there today. One of the big storylines actually going into this game is the weather. It's supposed to be minus 12 when they kick off and both teams took the week to try to adjust to playing in such cool temperatures. Definitely a process. You know, I think most of the guys reacted pretty well. You know, I'll go ask, you know, when we get back and have some meetings later today, see how guys are actually feeling about it. Um, seemed like we were moving around, around pretty well. We had a, a couple guys that were, you know, hands in their pockets type of thing, but that's to be expected. Another storyline heading into the matchup is Winnipeg's head coach, Mike O'Shea. His contract is up and he's helped lead the team to the championship the last two seasons and is looking for a three-peat. No, if you look at the history, I always play up my contracts and figure it out at the end of the year. All right, that's straight to the point. Both O'Shea and Ryan Dinwiddie are former players and actually played against each other when Dinwiddie was with the Blue Bombers and O'Shea was an Argo. You know, I got to understand how you know Mike approaches things. He's a you know smart player, physical player, uh, great leader. You can see it on on the defense side. We talk at coach meetings from, from time to time. I've sent him a few texts. He sent me a few. Just we got a lot of respect for him and, and what they've done in, in uh, Winnipeg. I think, you know, years prior, is Calgary was kind of the, the model everybody wanted to follow, and I think now it's Winnipeg. There is concern surrounding Winnipeg's QB, Zach Caleros, who limped off the field during the Bombers' last game on Sunday against the Lions. I'm ready to go. I'll be ready to play. An interesting fact is the last time these two teams met in the Grey Cup was back in 1950 and Toronto won the game 13 to nothing. For City News, I'm Lindsay Dunn.